So Angela says, been single for six months, met a guy I really like, like, but asked him a question and felt like he diverted the answer not to hurt me or was scared of my reaction. How do I get him to understand I'm not a jealous person, just want someone who's 100% honest? Well, you can have those conversations, right? You can kind of call out that behavior. And I mean, it might be a little bit late to do that at this point, but you could ask the question again <laughs> and see what he does, right? And, it, and if he starts kind of getting all squirrely on you, you can just call it out and just be like, are you, does this make you uncomfortable? Is this question, does it feel weird to you? And and just have a conversation with him about it and just talk to him about it. Because if he's, it, you know, a lot of times guys are, scared that women are going to freak out because a lot of women do freak out. They take things personally that shouldn't be taken personally. They get angry and upset about things that absolutely don't matter. And if he's like most guys, he's been in a situation or a relationship or had a mom or a sister or somebody around him who was a woman who he said something and it was totally innocent and she lost her mind and so he's a little bit hesitant to talk about it. It could be that. It could also be that he doesn't want to have that conversation and so you need to figure out which one it is, (laughs) right? Which is why it can be powerful to talk to whatever it is and go deeper into that and if he starts running away and disappears, you get your answer and if he opens up about it and has a conversation about it, you have another answer. And so that's better to do than, than, you know, avoiding it or being like, okay, what does he think? And all that kind of stuff is just speak to whatever it is that he's having a problem with going deep into it. Right. And, and that can be scary for him and you. However, that's depth. That's real. That's like connecting on a deeper level and having real conversations and breaking through things and real connections in this day and age are incredibly rare. Most people are walking around on their phones. They're not hanging out with people anymore. They're not connecting with people anymore. Everybody's like scared to death of offending somebody else because everybody's getting offended over everything nowadays. And so if you can have real conversations with somebody and a guy is open to that real conversation with you, it can be incredibly powerful in bonding you together. And you can also use it to find out whether he's willing to have real conversations like that or whether it freaks him out and makes him run away. And that's a very important thing to learn early on and whether he's open to that because some guys aren't open to that. Some guys aren't ready for that. And if that's what you want, which is what it sounds like because you're asking a question about it right now and you're talking about a guy who's 100% honest, right? Most people aren't 100% honest with anything. And so if you speak to it and you have a conversation about it and you're real about it and he wants to have some real connection and conversation, then he will open himself to it and you'll have a great answer and you can build a a much better connection with him and a much better relationship long-term with him if you speak to that. 